Hi everyone, I'm Daniel Linder, marriage family therapist, addiction specialist, relationship trainer, and the creator of the relationship model of addiction. So for the last three months here, I've been putting these videos together and really speaking primarily to the recovering population and talking about relationships and shifting the paradigm. Today we're going to do something different. Uh, I'm in a zone right now. I'm in an altered state and I wanted to, yes, I'm in an altered state now. And so I wanted to be here with you in the state that I'm in. And one, I'm happy, I'm excited to share this experience that I'm going through as we speak, being the recipient of a divine intervention, divine intervention. You read about it, you hear about it, and here I am. I'm in it. So I'm going to tell you about it. So last Sunday, so today is Saturday, last Sunday, uh, my partner, Taya, comes home with uh, a bag of, uh, a big bag of all kinds of fresh garden grown vegetables that she got from a friend. Her friend gave it to her. And I'm in the kitchen with her. She's taking the vegetables out. It was Swiss chard, kale, arugula, tomatoes, beets, turnips. Uh, other things like I don't know a bunch of things like 10 or 12 different things so I just figure I'm hanging out with my my partner in, in the kitchen so I'm with her as she's taking all the stuff out all the vegetables out and then the next thing she did was to put them in the sink and clean it clean all the dirt off of it because it came out of the garden and just watching her do this and we were talking I wasn't really involved in doing it. I was watching her and then after she cut it uh, I mean after she cleaned it all, she then got it organized on the counter to cut it and cut it up very methodically and carefully into little pieces and looked really nice. It was very colorful and then got through that. I don't know how long that took and then uh, began to uh, cook them. Threw them all into a frying pan, put a little oil in there and this big shopping bag full of vegetables like this much ended up being shrunken down into the frying pan which she was cooking added seasoning you know garlic some cumin stuff like that and we're still talking so it's been probably been a half hour 40 minutes we're just doing this together she's doing it I'm watching and then uh, after we you know she's it's finished cooking we take it she takes it out puts it on plates go into the sit down and eat it and we're sitting, talking, eating it. I'm eating it slowly. I'm really enjoying it. I'm going, wow, this is really good stuff because all the food, all the food I'm eating is like really good food. It's just straight out of the garden, pure nutrients, right? It's going right into my body. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, something very subtle was happening. It was kind of like a lightning bolt with no light. I just felt something change. Something was different. And my thought, my initial thoughts were that, you know, this is really good. I want more of this pure food. I don't want to eat cheese anymore because I've been eating a lot of cheese. I don't want to eat sugar anymore because I've been e eating way too much sugar. I don't want to eat meat anymore for a while, or certainly less of it because I've been eating too much meat and processed foods. And what I, so as I've been having the, as I was having this thought process of, you know, I don't think I want that. It's, so my relationship, I talk about a relationship with the means of relief. And in that moment, I started experiencing that I have, a, all, all of a sudden I have a different relationship with food. All the things that I crave, all the things that I stuff my face with, all the things that I eat indiscriminately and too much of, all the bad foods, I don't have that same relationship with and uh, and it was very profound and it's still profound what it was without this relationship that I had all of a sudden Daniel came back I'm back this is me my natural self my nature my true nature earthiness uh, my essence myself I was coming back Daniel was here and what I realized was I was a bona fide food addict. I am addicted to food. I have been for 30 years. And one of the, one of the um, inspirational thoughts that I was having in terms of how I'm going to change my food is that I've had enough sugar, M&Ms, peanut butter cups, Kit Kats, ice cream, chocolate, cake, cookies, processed foods to feed 
a city of people. I have been just stuffing my face, eating whatever's there. Probably for 30 years, I've been in this addictive addiction a mindset where I was disconnected from, a lot, from myself and others, and particularly using food. I realized in this process, I was talking a lot to Taya, my wife, in the process as this was unfolding, that the food was a relief of anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. I'm anxious all the time. Why I'm anxious, there are reasons why, but I connected with that the food relieves anxiety. The sensation, the amount of food I eat, the sweetness of it, it changes my mood. I'm less anxious. So, I'm back. I'm a, I've emerged. I've emerged from this addiction for 30 years. I haven't felt like this for 30 years. For over, I don't think I've always been like this. I think that through my teens and my 20s, I was really into keeping my, my body and myself in top physical condition and exercising a lot. I didn't have any trips around food, uh, of eating too much or too much of the wrong foods because I was really working out a lot. So this must have been in my late 20s, early 30s. Something happened where my relationship with food changes and I just started eating whatever was there. And additionally, there's a withdrawal process. I feel I, we talked about withdrawal, and I'm going through it right now. It's emotional and it's physical. Um, my body is detoxing. As I'm speaking to you right now, I'm tired, I'm fatigued. Um, I just feel different. I just feel like this is all different. I'm in an altered state. So I'm really, really nervous now. I'm really nervous telling you this and sharing this with you because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know if I, this switch or this trigger is going to get me back to the way I was before and the next time I talk to you, I'll be in the throes of an addiction again, cut off, reactive around food, cut off from life, cut off from myself in this sort of haze of denial and I just didn't care about anything. Now, I don't, I'm disaffected. I'm disaffected from food. I, I don't want any more. Uh, I don't have that charge. So I look at food and I'm just, I, I don't even know what to make of food right now. I don't. So I actually had my first meal this morning in, in four days. In addition to what happened to me, I wanted to tell you, I, I, had, I went on a juice fast for three days. So I've just come off of it today and that was very, very intense. That intensified the whole experience. But the divine intervention was not the juice fast. It was what happened when I received these garden-grown vegetables, cooked them and ate them and all of that. So I hope, I'm hoping that this could be, when you hear this, maybe you'll be more receptive or open up the possibility for you to be as a fortunate to receive this divine intervention as I was. So maybe, you know, try going to the store, buying some organic vegetables, uh, whatever you like, look at them, smell them, pick them, uh, take them home, clean them, cut them, cook them, eat them. It may happen to you, I don't know. Uh, I hope so. so. So that being said right now, I wanna, I hope again, this was helpful to you and that you get a, um, your, the possibility for a divine intervention is more available to you. Uh, so just in terms of winding this down right now, I want to tell you that um, rather than le my usual thing, leave a name and a comment down there, I just want to tell you about this group that I'm doing. I've been doing this transitions relationship group for over a year now and it is a phenomenal group and there are openings in the group. It's in Arinda. It's on Fridays from 12 to 1.30. And it's a transitions relationship group. Most of the people in the group or all the people are, are recovering codependents. It's a happening group. It's a dynamic group. People love it. I love it. And it's just a tremendous opportunity for you to be part of the self-revolution and shift the paradigm from other-centered ways of relating and being in a relationship to self-centered. So on that note, I'll see you next time. I don't know what I'm going to be like next time you see me, but just remember the quality of your relationships is the quality of your life.